Hey guys, what's up? It's me today. I got a video on my little SAS survival pin kit. It's made out of a waterproof cell phone dry box. Let's open it. Look through it. Starting first. First thing always has to fall out. A whistle. <laughs> Some sugar. Some wet fire tender, fire starting material. I think that's the smell. Yeah, it's a smell. Um, hand wipes. These uh also make this smell good, I guess. It smells good in here. I've got some cotton, more fire starting material. Got a toothpick. Got two sheets of paper. This is SAS, by the way. So I've got two packets of salt. I've got some band aids. Got some double mint bubble gum. I've got a little flashlight. Sorry, there. Didn't mean to blind you. Very bright. Um, I've got a little hand saw, portable wire saw. I've got some nylon cordage, some water purification tablets, and by the way, a lot of people don't spend their time on these, but I really do. I took thought and effort to do this. We got a little signaling mirror with the cover and the instructions on the back. So I've got two Altoids also as an acid tablets or one, yeah, just one on there. Um, I've got some little fishing hooks. I've got like four, maybe six. Um, need to swap this out. But an alcohol prep pad. I'm sorry, I need to set that to the side because it needs fixed. Actually, I have one full box right here. I'm just pump them in and right out of here. Okay. I've got some an alcohol prep pad. Got some trail tape, mark where I'm going, my way back. I've got a, um, uh, some flint and steel, strike it for you. I always carry a knife with me, that's the one thing I'm lacking in this kit, but some flint and steel. Um, yeah. Some magnesium on there too. By the way. Got some eye prints, aspirin basically. I've got uh, new order stuff actually coming in, so some matches, the striker. I've got some cotton balls in there, more fire starting material, another band aid. Got these little tweezers made in the USA. That's a good thing. I'm always looking for stuff that's made in the USA. So I need to order another pair of these to go on my little everyday carry keychain. But um, got some crafting wire, so I wouldn't have to use my good snare wire here. Got snare wire with some fishing hooks and some little. Key rings on their really miniature ones, and then some little fishing lure and steel and stuff. I've got one razor blade, mini, and I've got a makeshift sheath with two of these in there. Razor blades.
this is a remake of the video because my last video was on my iPod and it wouldn't publish, so I just think I should let you know. I've got some wax string, also known as dental floss. <laughs> got part of a Q-tip. I've got one single birthday candle. I need to throw another one in there. I've got some sponge wrapped in foil so it wouldn't collect the water. But what this is used for is the dew on the leaves. You rub this against it and the water collects in it and then you just squeeze it into a cup and you keep doing that. So it's my little sponge with foil wrapped around it is for. Um, and that can also be used for a uh, rust remover. I've got some fishing line here, fishing line here. It's about 50 to 100 feet. I've got some snare string, black snare string, or you can use this for the stronger fishing line. This is nylon, by the way. Nylon string, really strong. And then you can use this as tippet, so you have this for the uh, a different. I've got a little sewing kit right here. Does that look good? I've got some change. I've got let's see, a single button. That goes as part of the sewing kit. I've got two fishing floats. And I've got uh, a button compass. So thanks guys, that was my um, video on my little homemade, um, SAS survival thing, so thanks guys, see you next time, bye.